here I am drawing the acceleration time graph okay I am just completing the first curve here this is y axis okay and this is acceleration time graph okay suppose if I am drawing the first graph just along the x axis what does this mean this means that there is no acceleration or acceleration equal to zero that means the change in velocity equal to a this is equal to zero that means v equal to u that means the final velocity at this place is equal to the initial velocity at this place right okay that means the object was moving with a constant velocity the initial velocity and final velocity is same right now let i am giving another condition that the object is moving with a positive acceleration of 6 meter per second square right suppose the object is moving towards its direction with 6 meter per second square acceleration right so if here i can say the acceleration is constant acceleration is constant right that means there is constant change in velocity from this time up to this time okay so i am giving another condition that suppose the acceleration become negative okay become negative it become minus 6 meter per second square what does this means this means that suppose the object was moving towards its direction now it is returning back with 6 meter per second square this returning is equivalent to minus negative sign of the acceleration okay the third most important information we achieve from acceleration time graph is that the area under the curve that means this area right gives the velocity okay how uh, if we can say the area under the curve is 6 into 3 right this is the area under the curve this one okay so it becomes 6 3 is 18 and what about the unit the unit of acceleration that is 6 is meter per second is square and unit of 3 is second therefore one second is cancelled from here so it becomes 18 meter per second and which is the unit of velocity right so what we can say that with the help of acceleration time graph we can find out the velocity time graph how by calculating the area at each time instant what we set here right suppose area under the curve this up to one second can be find out for further two second it can be calculated so in this way we can calculate the velocity time graph right the another thing i want to note here that in case of velocity time graph and displacement time graph i have drawn the curve like this here we have shown you about the slope of the curve right if this is the acceleration time graph and i calculate slope of the curve so what will be the unit here the slope is that means this y intercept divided by x intercept so unit here becomes meter per second square divided by second so the unit become meter per second cube i don't think that this type of the unit has any physical quantity in linear motion 
so i can see here that the slope of the acceleration time graph is meaningless so if you have any query about the acceleration time graph you can ask here by commenting below this video okay